But the biggest revelation on this episode of Flying Witch was actually an introduction of Akane, Makoto's sister. I think that's actually the biggest revelation because her character kind of just came out of the blue. Really, really unexpected, quite a last minute kind of idea. And yeah, I thought to myself, she's actually kind of an interesting character, she's actually kind of cool in her own way. She's kind of like very, 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 very famous in the witching world, she's actually kind of respected. And actually she teaches Makoto an actual spell, actually pretty easy for her to actually use in a sense basically to keep up her training because we actually learn if you don't use your spells very often, you actually, your power can actually weaken as a witch. The problem is Makoto is not one of those people that actually kind of is reliant on the whole idea of spells. I thought to myself, overall, the second half was actually pretty freaking interesting. Granted, Grant, it was really funny when all the crows just came in when Makoto used their own hair to actually use the, do the spell because what happens is you've got to use black you gotta use black hair that's what the kind of thing you'll use you gotta use black hair and what happens is you put the incarnations on top onto the envelope you burn the actual like envelope itself and then it put out with water and then what happens is after that point crows come in what done stuff that's actually pretty interesting. What happens is Makoto uses her own hair and all the crows just start coming in. But Kane says, oh, you don't, don't worry. As long as it's black hair, you don't have to worry. Just use it. So she, she explains originally, don't worry, you can, you can use your own hair. But in the end, she says, oh, you can't use witch's hair because it's too powerful. I thought to myself, kind of contradict yourself, but still, she's pretty freaking cool. And I, I love how Chinatsu just reacted to the whole entire thing. The, the fact she didn't have any fear that all these crows were just around her. And like, she just went, oh my god, it's actually pretty freaking cool. I thought to myself. She's an interesting character in her own right, I kind of like her. And the fact that actually Akane bought all those gifts for everyone, and it was just kind of really unorthodox kind of gifts, and since like, kind of like rock salt, really weird like, kind of oil and stuff like that, I thought to myself, it's kind of funny, it's just enjoyable to watch. It's really, really relaxing, it's kind of like a really relaxing anime, is what I'm trying to say. It's a really nice slice of life anime, that if you haven't watched it so far, you haven't given it a chance, because maybe it's not your cup of tea, just you watch it, because it's actually really, really chillax kind of anime. And the first half itself focused on the whole idea of Makoto kind of like kind of advancing her like kind of studies and her like training, but this time with plants instead, what she does is she gets a farm. In the sense, what happens is actually Kay's family has a farm behind, and what happens is she kind of grows and kind of de weeds the farm and grows some actual like plants on it. That bit was kind of funny as well, the fact that she was actually trying to pull out these weeds one by one, she was falling on her ass the whole entire time, going, ow, but she kept on going up and doing it again. It's kind of just one of those repetitious kind of things, but it was still pretty funny to watch. And then you had the whole pheasant scene as well, the fact that everyone was trying to chase down this pheasant to grab it. It was so funny, because you saw Bakoto just trying to chase down the pheasant constantly, she was getting tired over time, and then her uncle as well tried to do it as well, and he couldn't do it. It was just really freaking funny. So overall, yeah. Really freaking good episode, I must say. I liked it. It was really, really chillaxed. Took me away for 25 minutes. I'm pretty freaking chilled to go to bed now. So, yeah. With all that said, happy in the driveway. Leave a like. Do leave a like. It's done quite a bit. And the sub. Do leave a sub. It's done quite a bit. But with all that said, happy in the driver. And I'll see you later.